Construction Geometry Part 3. This is Guy Delosier, Go Engineer, Senior Applications Engineer. In Part 1 and 2 of Construction Geometry, I talked about various ways of using center lines and uh, some other uh, types of uh, uh, entities to make things the way you wanted to make them. So I'm going to continue on in that same vein. Uh, some more uh, tips and tricks here on how to make things work easier and faster and quicker and, you know, nail things down. A little bit better. So I've got a couple of circles here and uh, I need to make the circles vertical from one another. Well as you know I could pick uh, a center point, hold control and pick the origin and add a vertical relationship. Well the problem with that is it's not visible and sometimes you need to be able to see at a glance what's going on and I when I see a center line in a sketch like this and it looks like it's vertical I know right away that I put it there for a reason. It's there to hold things together um, and it's a quick way uh, to line things up and even a quicker way to dimension them. So I just got to make one button click here uh, to dimension that after I put my center line on rather than clicking the two circles or hunting around and trying to find the two center points uh, to put the dimensions to. So it makes it you know nice and easy and quick. Now something else here about um, construction geometry and things like that. I've got two circles. It's very, very easy here to make things symmetrical when you have circles. Okay? I'm going to make a, a line and I'll just make it up here anywhere and just drag that across, uh, attach it to the uh, circle, and make it horizontal uh, at the same time. So there we go. It's horizontal and it's coincident relationship with the circles. Now, what's interesting about this that most people don't realize is that this now is a symmetrical entity because it's bounded by the circle and it's free to move up and down well I'll fix that in a little while here um, but it is symmetrical okay now this one up here I've got attached to the uh, uh, quadrants of the circle so it's not going anywhere what I want to do now is I want to add um, some lines in here to make this go where I want it to go. Okay? Now if I just drag this down, it goes pretty much anywhere I want it to go. Well, what happens if I make one side of this tangent with the circle? Pick the line, hold control, pick the circle, tangent, zot, there we go. So it's it's fully defined now. Um, and it is tangent on both sides because of the uh, symmetrical relationship caused by the horizontal line being bounded within that circle. Okay, so now I only want to use part of this. I don't want to use the whole thing. Um, so I'm not going to use the circle um, at the top at all. I just wanted to use it to line stuff up. So I'll just pick the circle and make it a construction entity fine. But down below here I want this tangent arc to be attached but I don't want this upper portion here. Um, it kind of interferes etc and I don't need, I mean I want to keep this line here to hold things together but I don't want it as a regular line. I want it as a construction line. Well that's easy. I just pick on it and make it for construction. Um, great. But this is a problem up here. Um, this upper portion. So what I'm going to do is use split entities here. I've talked about that before in uh, one of the other uh, segments, but split entities I've got on my toolbar and it is found in tools, sketch tools, split entities. And I'm just going to split my circle in a couple of places. As long as it's not on the, on the midpoints of the circle, we're fine. Shut that off. I'm going to grab that point and just drag it to the endpoints of that line. Okay? So now I've got two separate circle segments. There's one, there's the other, and that one needs to be for construction now. So now I've got this tangent arc, these two lines, this line, and I've got this arc up here that's basically just holding things together. Okay? Because that's the uh, uh, the, the underlying geometry that uh, there's something from something else uh, and that's how it's got to be uh, hooked on so it was easy to make this stuff go where I want it to go um, with this technique okay alright let's look at some other things here <clears throat> 
sometimes you want to put um, things on a circle, you know, around the circle text, for instance. Um, and if I just get the text command here and type some text in here, yeah, start that again. Put Go Engineer on something. It just goes where it wants to go. Well, that's not where I want it. I want it on the circle. Uh-oh. It's way over there. That's not what I want. I want it up to, at the top. Okay. Well, that's a problem here. Let me exit out of my text editor. Now, the text is still there, um, but I'm just back in my sketch now. What I want to do is I want to use that split entities business that I used before, and I want to split this circle a couple different ways. So I've got multi-segments here now. One, two, three, four segments of the circle. Now, <clears throat> if I pick two of these um, points, I can make them horizontal, so now it's the same effect as having a center line across there, so they are symmetrical. Okay, same as up here. Make those horizontal. So I can drive those um, with a dimension if I wanted to. Uh, let's say I wanted to do that. Any three points. One, two, three gives me um, an angular dimension. Okay, now this is all going to be construction geometry except for the text. Oh, golly, Ned, uh, I need to uh, select my segments of the circle in and turn these into construction lines. Well, I can pick them there or go over here and pick for construction. Either way, so now those are construction lines. Let's go back to our text. If I hover over that, I get the little A symbol there for text. Come back here, and it says arc 1. Mm, no. I want whatever arc that is. Don't care whether it's 1, 2, 3, whatever. I want to put that in the center. I want it on the outside, and I want to reverse it so we can read it. There we go. How about we change the font? Make that a little bit bigger. And we'll make that um, like a, a bold and... Uh, We'll make it uh, like 36 point type. See what we get here. Yeah, that's better, but it's a little close together. I want that uh, spaced out a little bit. I can make my letters a little bit bigger. I can put spacing between the letters if I want, more or less, to get what I'm looking to get what I'm looking for there. So there we go. So now I got this on a certain segment of my circle. Maybe um, at the bottom I need a part number or something. So I can just say OK here and I can select this other segment of the circle um, and uh, go to text up here and type in my text. Put in a part number. One, two, three, four, five, dash, five. Perfect. Center that. Uh, let's make it a bigger font and uh, we'll make that uh, 36 type uh, also and bold okay <clears throat> now if you notice here we're really really close together and if this gets any closer it's going to start interfering with each other and this won't work so it behooves us here to space this out a little bit when we're doing this okay so there we go we got part number, we got uh, company name, um, and I can just exit out of here now and extrude or cut or whatever I'm going to do to make my um, text the way I want it. So one inch is a little much, maybe uh, 100 thou and say OK and uh oh. Let's see what I just did. I pulled a rookie mistake here, uh, something my students do all the time. They extruded this into the surface and made it double dense, right? How about if we extrude it out? So we're coming out the other way. Oh, it's on the back side. Oh my goodness. I'm on the wrong side here. Look at that. And you know what? These are the type of mistakes we all make. 
So if I say OK here, it's going to make my text and it's going to be coming out of the screen at me, but uh oh, it's upside down, backwards, and inside out. Well, you know, if I go back to my sketch and edit that uh, and hover over this so I get my text, I can double click here and I can change this. Whoops, wrong one. Change this so that the text. Well, is that a good? There we go. Get that around the right direction. And the same down here. Double click. And uh, flip that the other way. And there we go. That's what I'm looking for. So now I can read the text and say OK. And it updates. And I'm all ready to go here. So a couple tips here. Got into a little bit of... Uh, putting some text on, but the underlying idea here is to be able to uh, edit our um, geometry here and make this construction geometry do what you want it to do. Okay? Now, one more uh, quick example here. Let me just open up a blank part file. <clears throat> and uh, front plane, sketch, and I'll just get a nice big fat circle. Another thing, you know, just to uh, Keep in mind here, if you're doing something like a, a clock or something like that, you may need to have segments here for some reason. Uh, I can go in here and I can split this uh, in a lot of different places. <clears throat> now this is, seems to be a lot of trouble, doesn't it? Now, how many is that? I've lost track. Um, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that's about right. Good deal. Now, if I want to uh, make all these equal, just window from left to right, and pick equal. Boom. So now, these segments are all exactly the same length, so that I can... Um, use this like a, uh, a clock face or something and put my numbers on this each one of these individual segments well that's that's a great thing but let's look at something else here real quick if I have a circle here we've got a segment tool here and all I gotta do is tell it how many uh, sketch points or how many segments do I need and I'm done same exact idea way way faster this is a 2015 uh, tool and uh, it's only available in 2015 so as soon as you get upgraded to 2015 if you haven't already that tools there for your uh, enjoyment now same thing with a line okay I can have a line um, and I can do the segment here and tell it how many points or how many segments you know to get this exactly the way I want it construction geometry you know, it is your friend. Uh, I can turn some of these into construction lines or all of them into construction lines <clears throat> or leave them the way they are and do something else with them. Your choice. What do you want to do? How do you want to do it? What's this going to be? How's it going to be made? Those are the answers you got to uh, come up with. So here's some of the uh, things you can do to make it work better. Thank you very much. This is Guy Delosier, Go Engineer, Senior Applications Engineer. Have a great day.